Hello everybody, it's Darth Shockwave here. I'm back for another Transformers review. Today's review, as you can see in front of you, is going to be on the Aerial Bots well, slash Superion. Uh, as you can see here, we have all five Aerial Bots plus the parts for Superion. I do have all the individual Aerial Bots guns, but they're upstairs in one of my many buckets of spare parts. Now, a little bit of, uh, a couple of bits of info about the Aerial Bots. These toys first came out in 1986. Uh, they debuted in the cartoon in 1985 in the two-part episode, The Key to Factor Sigma. They were in the second part, number part two. Uh, what, basically, they were portrayed as an arrogant bunch of uh, robots who uh, felt more, who felt better than the other bots. Well, most of them did, anyway. Well, I say most of them. One in particular did. And the others, apart from Silverbolt, just followed his lead. It was after War Dawn where Slingshot wasn't as obnoxious. Because he was very obnoxious in those first few episodes. But anyway, on to uh, the toys. We have here, as you can see here, all five Aerial Bots. We've got Five Flight, Skydive, Silverbolt, Air Raid, and Slingshot. Uh, I used to have these toys when I was a little boy, so they are quite old, and they are still looking fa quite fantastic. Sil Superion is my favourite Gestalt out of all of them. I like him because I like, uh, well, I love fighter jets and I love the sym symmetry that he has. Of all the uh, Gestalts, Superion is the most symmetrical looking. So go on to a little bit about the jets themselves. Here we have Fireflight who is an F4 Phantom and he has a fantastic looking colour scheme of red and white and he looks absolutely brilliant, I like that one so that's Firefly here's Skydive, he's my favourite of the lot he, he transforms into an F16 Fighting Falcon I love the lightning bolt details on him they look amazing like I said, the colour scheme on that looks brilliant as well I love how he's got the guns on the tips of his wings like an F-16 does. Here we have Air Raid, another F-15. This time transforms differently to what the other F-15s in Transformers turn here. And he looks quite good as well, looks nice, nice with the black, red and white colour scheme. Here we have Slingshot, who is a Harrier Jump Jet, nice British design that is. Even got the well, the shoulders on Slingshot look, make it look like he's got the air intakes, and he has the wheels on the end of the wings, but they don't come out. And he, you know, he's not too bad. He's out of the lot. He is probably the weakest of the lot. And uh, finally, we have Silverbolt, the leader of the Aerobots, who transforms into a well, a Concord, I'd say, but the nose of the of the plane is completely wrong. And the tail is fine, but like the nose is completely wrong, so I would guess the closest it is to be a Concord. He has a bit of kibble underneath, but other than that, he looks brilliant. He looks good. So yeah, I like these guys. I love Superion's first ever appearance in um, more in the Key to Factor Sigma Part Two when Megatron unleashes his super weapon of the Stunticons and its Menasaur. And Optimus Prime gives him his great second one of his greatest F U right backs of surprise Megatron meets Superion and Megatron's like, What no That let's transform these guys anyway. Before I keep battling on. Here we'll transform the skydive. They all transform very similar. Well the limbs do anyway. Unfortunately my skydive has a problem with his legs. Oh he's standing up. So let's skydive. Fireflight. All all the aerial bot limbs transform pretty much the same, which is a good thing. I mean, well, for these guys, anyway, it just helps confirm the brotherhood that they have. Air raid. They all have similar looking themes as well. And there's air raid. And finally, Slingshot. Uh, I think Superior is the Gestalt that's taken on more, most of the Gestalts than anyone else. He's taken on Devastator, 
Bruticus. Of course, he's got main rivalry, which is Menasaur. And I think he took on a Bombinus as well. Oh, hang on, there's the area bottom lens. I'll just transform Silver Bolt. Hang on, I'll move the guys out of the way. Silver Bolts are quite easy to do as well. You just flip the legs down, turn them around. Flip out the toes so he's got some stability. Extend his fists. Lower chest part, move back the nose cone and flip over the head. And there we have the aerial bots in the robot modes. Nice looking robot modes, very simplistic. Uh, obviously the limbs are when they back in the day they were like three, four pounds I think, so they were pocket money. And they only came with their guns, so they didn't come with any attachments like the Stunticons did or the Protector Bots did or the Combaticons. But they look very nice. I oh, forgot to mention, uh, Superion also took on Defense Sword, didn't he? Yeah, in um, Return of Optimus Prime Part 2. Uh, Silver Bolt is probably uh, the, the only... Well, he suffers from a bit on this like, articulation because he's an elbow mover. And he's very tall for him, for his size. Uh, for comparison, here's Optimus Prime. And as you can see here, Superior on Optimus Prime... Oh, sorry, Silver Bolt is slightly taller than Optimus Prime. Yeah, whereas in the cartoon, Optimus Prime always towered above all the other Autobots, with the exception of the Dinobots and Ultra Magnus. So they're the little, they're the limbs themselves. Individually, I'm not too sure how much these go on eBay. Maybe 10, 15 pounds. Uh, Silverbolt himself, a lot more depends, because you know you need all the parts for Silverbolt. But let's transform these guys into Superior. First off. Skydive, take a foot plate. I normally put Skydive as Superion's left foot. I'm not too sure how everybody else does it. And Air Raid, of course, the right foot. Take a foot plate and just slot him in. Take five flight. Uh, now, I know some of the instructions have it with the legs close like that. Personally I prefer to keep them open because it just adds a little bit more length to the arms. Ah, there we have five light as Superior's left arm. That's how I like to do them anyway, Superior's left arm. And then slingshot. There we go. All these are very simple to do. There's only Silver Bolt who's the most difficult one to do. So, silver bolt, take the robot mode, slot back into fist. You can either leave the arms straight down as they are, or as I do, move them back, and then we move back again. Fold up silver bolt's feet, and fold up, and now put in the legs until he looks like that. Now you can start attaching the armor pieces, so you have the chest piece. A little hole under there to attach the chest piece on and superior on head himself itself. Now you just need to attach all the individual limbs. And there you have Superion. He looks quite nice, quite impressive. I love the gold chrome on him. He is one of my favourite Gestalts. Well, all the Autobot ones are brilliant, as always. Uh, Superior one, I think, can go up to about £100 on eBay. Maybe more, possibly less, I'm not too sure. I have seen some people sell them at extortionate prices, at memorabilia, things like that. But Superior one is definitely a fan favourite, a welcome addition to any collection. If you own, you know, if you do collect Transformers, like I guess you do. Then you owe, owe it to yourself to own Superion because he was the Autobot's first Gestalt. And as a fact, he remains one of the most popular Gestalts around. I mean, articulation on Gestalt, as always, just arms. And he can actually move his legs forward. As noted by everyone else, Superion has skinny leg syndrome. They are very thin, they're about just over a centimetre thick. 
Right, I better wrap this up soon because I'm running out of time. I don't think I could talk this so much about Superion. Uh, yeah, so many other bits about him. Looks great from behind with the jets as well. Looks like he can really fly quite fast. And the colour scheme suits him as well. The white, red, gold, and black. It just blends perfectly. So, uh, back close up now. So, I've been Darth Chocolate. I hope you all enjoyed this. Till next time, over and out. Bye.